In this video I'm going to look at how to name aldehydes but before we start I just want to point out that aldehydes belong to a class of compounds called carbonyl compounds and that's because they contain this C double bond O. Now in aldehydes the C double bond O or carbonyl group is at the end of the carbon chain so if you imagine this is a carbon chain, so this is the last carbon, or the first carbon. There's the C double bond O. So what else must be attached to this carbon? It must be a hydrogen. So aldehydes have this functional group here. So we'll look at how to name them now. So there's three for you to try. The suffix for aldehydes is al. So in other words, that means that they, their names end in al. So if you have a go at these, and then I'll go through the answers. So nice easy one to start with. Con continuous carbon chain, one, two, three, four. So this is but, and because it's an aldehyde, it's butanal. There's that suffix there, al. Next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be called octanal. And the last one, let's look at the main carbon chain first. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just check this carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So both six, so we'll just go for the central one. So that means it's going to be some kind of hex anal. We've got these two alkyl groups here. These are methyl groups. Important thing to note, though, is that the functional group, the aldehyde functional group, fixes carbon number one. So that makes two, three, four, five. So this will be called... 3,5 dimethyl hexanal. If you want to try two more, slightly more difficult ones, there's a couple for you to get your teeth into. So the first one, we've got a carbon chain running through the middle there, of one, two, three, four, five carbons long. So this is going to be something pentanal. And we've also got two halogens attached along the chain. We've got a chlorine and a bromine. So we need to work out what positions they're at. And if you remember from the previous set of compounds, the aldehyde functional group fixes carbon number one. So that makes this carbon number two, three, four. Then we have to apply the alphabet rule so we need to say where the bromine is first, because it begins with a B. Chlorine comes later in the alphabet, beginning with a C. So this would be 4-bromo-2-chloro-pentanal. So if we finish with this one, we've got the longest continuous chain. We've got a few chains going on here, so let's just count them all. This is obviously the shortest one. We'll just show that one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got a chain of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got two chains of seven. So let's go down the middle. So this is going to be heptanal, some form of heptanal. Let's look at the alkyl branches now. So we've got this branch here, this is a methyl group, and we've got this branch here, so this alkyl group is an ethyl group. Remember, the functional group fixes carbon number one, so that's two, three, four, so that's obviously five. So which of these branches do we have to put first in the name? It's going to be ethyl because it begins with E, whereas methyl begins with M. So this is going to be called 5-ethyl-4-methyl-heptanal. 